Well, it's just a devastating scene. The young woman lived here with her aunt and uncle. They've actually put a small memorial uh, behind me in honor of their beloved niece. She died, though, just down the street on the same road in a home she shared with her new husband. They were only married in October, and now he is charged with her murder. This is how friends and family remember Angie Diaz, laughing, having fun, sharing her joy all over social media. Never could they have imagined that she was to be found decapitated, dismembered in a gruesome scene in her in-law's family property. Her husband, Jared Dykus, is the suspect. This neighbor grew up with the family. He was never the crazy one. He was never the type to go do something violent. He protected those that he loved and cared about. Dykus and Diaz were newlyweds, meeting in early 2022. They were married in October by Waller County Judge Trey Duhon. At the meat market where she worked as a cashier, her manager said they became worried when she didn't show up for work yesterday. The manager also explained that she had met Dykus and that the couple seemed happy, their relationship moving quickly from dating to marriage in about six months. The couple lived in a small house behind the Dykus parents' house. The parents called authorities on Thursday when they realized something was wrong. Everything happened on the property and all parts and pieces were recovered and submitted for evidence. Waller County Sheriff Troy Guidry says Dykus remained on the scene as investigators arrived. They found a gruesome scene with blood and Diaz's body dismembered and a possible weapon. The evidence shows it was a kitchen knife. The sheriff says they're looking into whether drugs may have played a role. Distraught relatives are planning a vigil this weekend as those who knew them struggle to comprehend what happened. Angie was you know, it's like a little ray of sunshine in this life. You know, she was optimistic and they, you know, he made her happy and kept him in good spirits. In Waller County, Maya Shea, ABC 13, Eyewitness News.